Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use water soluble material to create a meshed fabric um, through embroidery, which you can then overlay on top of other fabrics to create a really nice texture. This is mine that I've started with, um, and I've started with two layers of water soluble plastic, and then inside I've put silk sari waist threads in the orange and the blue you can see there and some fleece as well okay and then what i'm going to do is take this over to the machine and then embroider stitches all over it to build up this texture and then dissolve away the plastic using water and then i'll end up with a really nice sort of meshy material which i can then overlay on top of this really lovely taffeta. Okay, I've just set up my machine for free motion embroidery. Um, you can use straight stitch or zigzag stitch with a normal foot, but uh, I prefer the sort of more fluid flowing lines that you can get with a free motion foot instead of the sort of straight lines that you can get otherwise. But if you are going for that style, then that's fine as well. You can go with that. Okay, so just going to start with a few stitches. So the aim is just to create any sort of shape you want to. Don't worry too much at the beginning about making the, the lines of stitching too close together. So um, here is part finished um, already. Um, it hasn't taken me long to do, um, but I've still got another two colours to go, the orange and the burgundy. Um, so all it is is just continue in the same way, just moving the fabric around as you stitch. There we go, so I've just finished the green um, section and now I'm just starting on the orange over the top and hopefully you can just about see there where I've just started the orange around here. So the main aim really with your second and third colour is to fill in any blanks that you had from the other one, so just these large sections here. Because um, the more full it is then the more, the a better sturdier fabric that you're going to get. I've finished all the stitching now and the next thing to do is dissolve away the plastic. Just want to continue just sort of dabbing at it until all of the until all of the plastic has been dissolved away. It's slightly sort of sticky. Um, you just want to keep doing this gently really. Okay, this is the finished material and it's all dry now and ready to be used.